Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning and this is my son Ben and today we have a look at the best whiskies of October 2019 and yeah it's really late in the year. So yeah we're gonna give these whiskies the whiskey.com award. You can also find them on the website in the web uh, database and you can also find all the other old whiskies from the previous month or even the years we also did give a whiskey.com award for whiskies of the year so should we start yeah so they are mixed uh, some are from me which mm -hmm. i have tasted uh, personally and the others you personally mm -hmm. and uh, then there some are others combined are mixed yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. most of them are pr this time you got some some good ones, good ones i think you got more than the combined ones usually we get the combined ones because yeah. the combined ones we always know that oh this was going to be a good one we're going to try it together so um yeah, you, you've been on on tour in scotland so yeah. i had to do a lot oh uh, yeah of yeah them. so um the first one is the jura seven wood and that's a combination of seven different French oaks. So there is, uh, or seven different oaks. There is um, First Fill X Bourbon American White Oak, Limousin, Trois something always in French. So there are different, <laughs> six different French oaks in there. <laughs> so, Tranquet, Allier, Rosque. <laughs> <laughs> Upil et les bétrangers barrel. Non, fusé. It's in French. <laughs> barrel. <laughs> barrel. <laughs> barrel. <laughs> okay. And there's a hint of smoke in it, isn't it? Um, and a hint of smoke, yes. But I, I do love this. Uh, I did have the construction tasting with the master taster or the master whiskey maker from Jura. And he he explained all the different styles of French oak. And if you think French oak is just this uh, hysteric typical limousin oak, then you are far off because there's much, much more than just this heavy tannin limousin oak in there. But there's spiciness, there's fruitiness, there's nuttiness, there's just a lot of stuff in there. And it's just uh, makes that whiskey a very very interesting and just special whiskey of i hope that sticker will hold on it <laughs> hopefully <laughs> so the next one we had together i remember yes yep. the beaumont legend um, with the t not the legend oh it already fall down <laughs> and uh mm. it's not a beaumont <laughs> it's a uh, uh, sorry it's a beam <laughs> the beam legend and it's a kentucky straight whiskey Mm -hmm. But um, with, uh, with a combination of uh, American white oak barrels, mm -hmm. as Kentucky Straight Whiskey has to be, and wine and sherry casks. So this is very, uh, a very unique thing from, uh, what do you call it, from, from the, the Beam Suntory company, because they kind of make uh, an East meets West thing out of it. It um, com combines the, the perfection in casks from the Japanese with the, with the fine distilling uh, of the Beam Company. So that's very, very interesting, whereas uh, it shows that you have the highest distiller at the Beam Distillery, which is Fred No, the master distiller, and the highest guy from uh, Japan, from Suntory is the master blender. So these guys met and created this legendary whiskey. It's an exceptional bourbon. Yeah. So the next one I did, mm -hmm. and this is the Johnny Walker Blue Label. And this is one of my, my favorite. I love it for years and, and decades, to be clear. Uh, I had it here in front of the camera in German language already minimum 10 years ago and uh, now we had to retake that video and uh, very good for you uh, English speaking uh, users here on the channel uh, so this is not only one of the best combination of a blended scotch whiskey uh, but as well one of the favorite gifts you may have for your uncle for your aunt whatever uh, because it's so 
well, how to say, it's so elegant and such a heavy gift. It's not only heavy uh, from the bottle, uh, but it's an intense, massive whiskey. And the, uh, the whiskey itself is one of the best from Johnny Walker. There are better Johnny Walkers out there. Uh, King George V, for example. But, uh, but they cost a multiple yeah. of this. Yeah. And this is over 100. So uh, I, I do have a bit of a, a sneak preview because I've been to uh, mm -hmm. uh, I've been to the Johnny Walker archive and I've spoken to Jim Beveridge, so a bit of a sneak preview. There's going to be a video coming up uh, probably next year already with the editing process and all the other videos. So there is a lot of stuff going on around this bottle that mm -hmm. has the heritage of um, John Walker, like like this symbol here up here. What, what, that's a royal symbol. Yeah, it's so a royal verant. A royal verant that has been granted by King George V. And Johnny Walker has uh, By King George V the first time? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Um, it has to be uh, renewed every five years. And what do you want to so call I it? think <laughs> Prince Charles has to, to retaste them every <laughs> evening. <laughs> every evening. <laughs> So yeah, there's uh, and it's it's interesting the the story of of the uh, of the blue label and what the other labels mean all comes up in in that video. So uh, if you're not already subscribed, just subscribe to the channel. It will be coming up probably around January. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of heritage going on with the blue label. Yeah, next one is the Linkwood uh, signatory vintage, and this is. Uh, from a first use hawk's head and it's from the unchill filtered collection and it was especially bottled for us so we selected the cask and therefore it's uh, no surprise that this one this one won uh, the award because uh, yeah, <laughs> showing downward <laughs> Upward is better. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an <coughs> exceptional old whiskey, over 20 years, 22 years old, and it's affordable in price. And it's a very typical uh, space cider from the Linkwood Distillery, mm -hmm. uh, which is, in my point of view, a tier two uh, behind the scenes. So Linkwood is not that uh, available everywhere. And this one is, and Linkwood works for the big blends. So it's a malt whiskey company for the blends and there are a few uh, whiskies from Linkwood out there regularly available and this is a single cask and it was outstanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the next one was also only tasted by me and this is as well a whiskey.de uh, exclusive bottle. This is a cask from Highland Park and uh, well, it's it's uninteresting for you to see all those awards you aren't able to <laughs> uh, to buy online um, but uh, there are single casts from Highland Park uh, out there well, they are individually um, dedicated to every country so with a bit little luck you find those individual bottles uh, for your country but the cast they use are different for every country so this is a refill puncheon a refill sherry cask and this brings a very good balance between the sherry cask and the cask uh, the distillery character of Highland Park and the last one <laughs> yeah can't see any this anymore a, a small goodie this this, this <laughs> oh no you can't see it you can't put it on the label <laughs> incredible <laughs> we can put it on top <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the famous Brora, one of the low, last casks available from Brora, 40 years of age. And this small bottle I got from the distributor and uh, it's worth 700. Oh, that's a small one. Yeah, the big one is, uh, is around several thousand. And yeah, uh, so this is really expensive. And why this the best? Because Whenever you have very, very old whiskies, they tend to be, have to a massive cask influence and this one doesn't have it. So is it, it is very well balanced and for 40 years, really fresh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay. 
Nice. So it's a bit more than usual. We tasted more than usual. We tasted more than usual and mm -hmm. we actually had pretty good stuff this month. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's sometimes you have a slow month, sometimes you have a uh, have a, a fast month. It, it would be a bit unfair if, if you uh, have fewer whiskeys or always the same amount of whiskey. So yeah, this time it's seven though, isn't it? Yep. Seven, seven mm -hmm. whiskey uh, whiskey.com awards this month. So thank you very much. Six. Six? Six. Oh. Six. Six. Oh. Well, okay, six. Six then. Um, but it was close. That, that other one that was pretty good. So yeah, mm. that was close. Okay. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.